Hello my friends, my name is Darren from RC Scale Models and today we have another kit. This one's from Hobby Boss 148 scale. This is the AF Skyhawk. <coughs> Excuse me. Um 148 scale. Um this kit got released back in 2016 as a A4M and then they re-released it back in 2017, two versions, which was the F and they also released the E version. Um, so this is the E, uh, sorry, the F version. You can do it with the spine or without. Um, I'm not sure what the spine is for. It's probably to do with um, electronics and stuff. But let's take what, what we get in the box. <clears throat> you are agreed with uh, one of the markings and some of the weapons. Uh, some pictures of the kit built up. A little bit of history on the... Uh, the A4 Skyhawk. Uh, kit number 81765. There's another marking options to Top Gun School 1989 and camouflage markings in like Desert Scheme. Um, the reason why I bought this kit, if you've recently checked out my videos to do with the Top Gun series, um, if you've seen the movie as well, they use the Skyhawks for the uh, training. Uh, which are the um, instructors they're using the Skyhawks um, I do have some markings for uh, Top Gun which is here this grey one <clears throat> is Viper's aircraft from the movie um, so if you recognise the scene when it's two versus two the scene just before Goose bites the bullet when he dies is the scene just before that um, so I'll be doing the um, grey scheme which will be Viper's aircraft. Um. So it's a top opening box. Agreed with yeah, advertisement, worksheet, decals, one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven screws in total. So we'll take a closer look at this now. So here's the, all the paperwork. We have some advertisement of the F, which we've just got already. We have a tank. I have this kit in my stash. Um, we have an armoured train. A MiG 31M. We have a uh, Russian transporter, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that comes as a complete kit: trailer, tank, and truck. Com comes comes with everything. So basically, everything you see there is one kit, which is pretty cool. Um, that's one fairly fast scale. So let's take a look at the. Uh, Instructions. We are greeted with. Let's move you over slightly, guys. We are greeted with your worksheet. <clears throat> um, again, a little bit of history, uh, what to do and, what, and whatever. Is that history? No, that's the uh, warnings and stuff. So the uh, first page on the Hobby Boss instructions is your sprue map and everything in the kit. First step, I'll be working on the cockpit yeah, and then your instrument panel and dash. I have got Edward set for this, which is the Edward detailed set for the, the uh, cockpit um, instrument panel. And I do have the seat belts. So I'm going to make it a little bit, oops, sorry, a little bit more detailed. So as I say, work with, working with the cockpit, very simple. Um, the colour inside is like a dull grey. Once that's built up, you've got the intake. Don't forget to paint that insignia white and then do your turbines, probably like a silver. And then you're savaging it all together. You lower wing and upper wings, just sandwich them together. That's very simple. Step four is dropping down your the whole tire fuselage on top of your wings. Very basic. 
We have the back of the aircraft, which is a uh, structural part, and then you've got your exhaust system. Again, very simple. You've got your fin. Uh, it's asking to cut that off. Um, next step is the uh, cannons, air intakes, the front of the cockpit, uh, which would be the uh, display uh, upper display thing for um, the gun sight, I believe that is for. And then it's the canopy going on. Um, the back wings, air brakes, you've got the spine, which is optional, or you can have the part pieces that fill it in. I'm doing it without the spine. Uh, step eight is hard points for all your, all your weapons to go onto. Landing gear doors open, landing gear segments. Again, this is landing gear going in as well. So you can paint all the landing gear and put it in last. Fuel. Refueling probe going on as well. The rest of the hook because it can be landed on an aircraft carrier. If it's navy. Uh, you have drop tanks. We have this piece on the back. I'm not sure what that's for. You have your bombs, which are Mark 82 bombs. You got a Mark 20, I believe, of bombs as well. You have standard fuel tanks. Um, you got hard points for the Mark 82s, I believe these are the small ones, and you do get some Hamram 99Bs missiles. And then on the back, you've got your weapon and loadout. We have the color callouts. Here's the desert scheme. And your weapons. We have <clears throat> this one here yeah, from the Navy as well, which is uh, white on the bottom and a light grey top. <clears throat> and you have this one again, which is white on the bottom with a light grey top. Very similar to the other one. There's nothing in the back of that one. So there's three schemes in total. Like I say, I'll be doing the Top Gun. One. We have marking options, these are sealed. So your first set of decals for one one of the schemes is the uh, markings. These are nicely done. Carry film is a little bit thick in some places, like large. They should be okay. These are printed by Hobby, Hobby Boss itself. I don't know who they get to do theirs or or they might do it print them myself. I'm not actually sure. Oh, I hate it when they put the tape on. I'm scared of the cut into the decal. <clears throat> so here's the other decal sheet. Again, this is nicely in colour. Everything seems in register. I did mark. I did actually mark that decal bit a little bit. I'm not going to use these anyway, so I'm not too worried. They're nicely done anyway. Carry film is it in large in round the numbers and stuff. But they should be okay. So we'll work our way from the top in no typical order. This is weapons and landing gear doors and stuff, I think.
no, these are drop tanks and the hard points the detail is pretty good one of your missiles and the fins for it and the attachment points and fuel tanks We have the lower wings and the upper wings sections. Quite a simple kit, hopefully, to build. Details pretty good on this section. So we have the upper wing section. Details really nice. We have these pieces are for the um, airflow over the wing do a vortex and stuff here's another part of the wing nicely done with rivets a little bit of marble in there but once you put some paint on that it's going to disappear uh, lower wing section which is a giant like delta wing type shape landing in inner landing gear section is already molded it molded in so Mask, mask this up around here and you can just paint the side. I think the landing gear inside is like a Signia white with most uh, American aircraft. More wings. Um, these inserts will go inside these. It depends on the inside, you're not going to see any of those because they're all hidden, which is a nice touch. I do like Hobby Boss, they do put them in good places so you don't see them once it's put together. But this is a nice, nice sprue, nicely detailed. We, here we have the future large halves. And the intakes. So here's the future large half. Again, nicely detailed, a little bit of marbling, but once you put some paint on it, it should soon disappear. There's no flash, nice and crisp and clean. The air brake goes here. I also imagine it'd be white on the inside if you got the brakes out. Um, more detail, the intakes go here. I have looked up, uh, not reviews, but um, people talking about it. They, um, they have trouble getting these intakes on. Um, I don't know why, because you have to slot it under and something to do with this pin doesn't slot in but we're, we'll check it out when it comes to it um, but they said the kit goes together pretty go well and it's pretty good um, Hasegawa do uh, Skyhawk and that's pretty good but um, this is meant to be one of the be one of the better ones out there as well just as good as the uh, Hasegawa um, again nice detail Here's the intakes. So you've got the instrument panel, but we won't be needing that. So we've been replaced. Here is the exhaust system. The outside would be like a, uh, I wouldn't say silver, but probably a alum not aluminum, aircraft um, grade, grade metal, aluminum, it would be aluminum, and um, like black inside. Um, a little bit of detail on the cockpit. I think some of this gets replaced with the uh, photo etch that I've got. Um, I'm not sure if you need to put any nose weight in. I don't remember seeing that in the instructions. Because it is a tricycle landing gear. It might 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 be tail heavy, but it might not be. This one here contains more intakes, not intakes, um, fuel tanks, sorry, two sprues the same, so we have the hard points for the attachments and the fins for the drop tank, one of your wheels, uh, other side of the wheel, they're two halves, yeah two half wheels, so it should be no problem, nicely detailed on the tanks,
I'm not going to take this out of the bag, but it's the uh, spine. This is more hard points and the first stage compressor section of the engine. And your wheel wells. So you've got wheel well, hard points. The detail inside the wheel well is nice. Landing gear segment, the wheel, front wheel is already attached. There's some of the hard points for your weapons. There's your ejector seat. Um, I've got to replace the side parts with uh, further which. Cockpit tub. Very basic, but again, I've got the detail set for this, so it makes it a little bit more crisp. There is first stage compressor section. So this will be sprayed white, and then the, 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 the turbine bit will probably be like a silver. A little bit of uh, black wash from Tamir be nicely done. It's very similar to the, the Harrier uh, intake. We have the uh, ejection rail for your seat. The back behind the seat. Um, there's part of the engine. Um, is that the refueling probe I believe this piece here might be the refueling probe not sure but again nicely done here is your weapons you get two, two of these identical So we have um, JDAMs, is he JDAM bombs? And you got the hard points for it. Nicely detailed. Then we've got the smaller bombs. And then we've got these giant ones as well. And then we've got even smaller bombs. So there's two of these. Weapons are not too bad. And in here is the uh, canopy. I do like uh, how Hobby Boss take care of the uh, canopies and stuff. They wrap it in foam. Attention to detail. So they've been stuffed in all in one bag. So there we are. Got there's the gear canopy, no, no centre seam, all nice and crisp. A little bit distortion as it comes around the top. Um, I do have the uh, mask get from this as well for, from Tamir, not Tamir, sorry, um, Edward canopy mask. I have that as well. I I do find them easier to work with. I uh, struggle to uh, do my own mask by doing tape and cutting it around with a blade. I'm scared I'm going to cut it wrongly and sliced and put a chunk into the uh, canopy so I just rather fork out for the uh, mask set we have the uh, visibility for the glass it's pretty clear you can read that all right as you further you come away the more distortion you get you're probably going to be looking at about this this kind of distance from the detail inside. So you will see your already seat belts and instrument panel and the detailed set. You should be should should see it all. Unless you've got the canopy open and you see it. See it anyway. Oh and just one other thing. This is the reference book I'll be using for when I build the Skyhawk. This is the um, book from Sam Productions. They do 
quite a few range of different books on different aircraft and this is one on the Skyhawk it's, they're pretty good books highly detailed photos um, I, I, I recommend you should check them out you've got loads of different markings a lot of them are formed in the, the flight Navy training school type thing which is Top Gun area um, black and white old photographs you've got all colours the grey ones which is the one I'll be predicting uh, loads of different colour schemes blue ones camouflage ones there's a, that one, number 55 here I have the decals for that so if I wish to decide to do that one it's here number 55 so I can do that one if I wish to do so um, Navy shops, Israeli ones, um, and you get some colour profiles, which are pretty cool. Um, and it goes onto the back where it shows about talking about kits and how other people have built built them and the, and the steps they go through. Um, a tallery one, the, the Israeli one, a Hasegawa's one, that one's from Hasegawa, um, there's a grey one, and then you go to the back of the page, you've got detailed shots, close up of landing gear doors, landing gear, the uh, fueling probes and stuff, landing gear, so you can really get some detailed shots and uh, work out how the weathering's done and stuff, the back of the aircraft, um, side shots, the air brake, landing gear again, more wheel wells, so you can get an idea of how, how beat up they can get. Um, this one's a little bit cleaner because it's inside a uh, museum, so this one's will be a little bit cleaner. This is a grey one, which I'll probably be taking my, based off my weathering on the aircraft. How dirty it gets and grimy, landing gear doors, the front of the aircraft gets beat up. Landing gear again, totally black and grimy inside that one. Stains on the underside, and then you've got detailed shots of aircraft in training. And then it goes on to uh, tactics and stuff on the back of the book. But I recommend these books if you can get hold of these books for any aircraft that you're doing. I highly recommend these. So there you are, folks. There's another kit from Hobby Boss 148 scale A4F Skyhawk. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you later.